Hi, everyone. Let me just start with sometimes I really don't feel like I know what I'm doing at work. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm doing enough. Sometimes I feel like there's so much more to know and I'm never going to know it. And even though I know I'm not going to get fired, I think, oh, if I mess up, they're going to realize that I belong here and I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's because I used to be a park ranger and now I'm a developer and I suffer from imposter syndrome. And for those of you that may not know imposter syndrome, Wikipedia says that it's the psychological occurrence in which people doubt their skills, their talents, or their accomplishment, and it's this persistent internalized fear that they will be found out as frauds. Who here hasn't experienced imposter syndrome? Oh, okay, well great. So if you have or haven't, I might have some little twist on something you might already know that could help. Now this course comes with a disclaimer. Now in 2015, when Rob Pike first introduced us to the simple, poetic, pithy Go Proverbs, I'm sure this was not one of the intended uses. And to be honest, my interpretations of some of these Go Proverbs might not work for everyone. And honestly, they might cause a couple of side effects, and one of those being, what are the other Go Proverbs? And that's okay, you can find the other Go Proverbs and give Rob Pike some love at their website, go-proverbs.github.io. But without further ado, I give you Go Proverb to overcome imposter syndrome. The first one being, don't communicate by sharing memory. Share memory by communicating. I mean, don't just share what you've worked on. Actually communicate what you're working on, because then others can work with you, and you can have the shared memory of actually achieving those accomplishments and celebrating them together. It'll help you feel less alone and realize that often our work is a team activity. Okay, okay, I know that one was a bit of a stretch, but what about clever is, clear is better than clever? So you may not know all the fancy words to describe how you're feeling, and that's okay. You don't need to have all the words to say to someone that I feel like an imposter. It not only reduces loneliness, but it also opens the doors for others to start sharing what they see in you and what makes you perfect for that role. And kind of to that point, reflection is never clear. It can be really difficult to see the ways we've improved and what skills and talents we possess and how we've come to where we are. Reach out to people you trust so that they can give you honest feedback about the work you do and the contributions that you've made. Now, not all contributions will be successful. And speaking of which, when that happens, you should think of the next proverb, errors are values. Failure is often necessary for growth, and it will happen. Try not to make perfection the goal when crafting or building a solution. Know that you might have a mistake, and you'll learn something from that. And to that point, don't just check errors, handle them gracefully. Give yourself time and give yourself the space to learn from the errors you may have made in the past. Now, one, this next proverb I actually really like a lot. It's design the architect, name the components, and document the details. What I mean by this is ask yourself how you might support a friend who minimizes their accomplishments, and then use that vocabulary in your own narration because you've already defined the components. And of course, take down the details of how you did this so that later you can look back and see the bigger picture. Understanding how you got here will help you remember that you deserve to be in this role. And Speaking of documentation, I can't stress this enough. Documentation is for users like yourself. Track your accomplishments, track your praise that you get. That way, you can look back on these notes and see how far you've overcome and how far you've come 
when you need a confidence boost. And lastly, as you can see, don't panic. It's good to express your emotions, but maybe it's not so great to panic. Build a good network of friends, family, chosen family, colleagues, and maybe even a therapist. And when things get hard, talk to them. They can help show you that you're not an imposter, or at least point you in the right direction to feeling more confident. Even as a senior software engineer, I still experience imposter syndrome. And in those moments, I think to myself, keep calm and follow Go Proverbs. Thank you so much for listening to my lightning talk. I'll be around all week, so feel free to stop and say hi. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your conference and that soon you feel like less of an imposter because, let's face it, you aren't one. <laughs>